Hey everyone, I'm Alex from Sourcegraph. Today we have an all new release from Sourcegraph, which means new features for both Kodi and Code Search products. I'm gonna walk through all of the highlights today and let's start by jumping right into what's new with all of the Kodi IDE clients. First off, we've got Kodi for JetBrains, which is now officially out of experimental status and is available in beta. This extension has received a really big update with significant improvements across performance, UX updates, bug fixes, and it's even been updated to make it easier to set up out of the box. First off, when you install the extension, this is now the UX that you'll be greeted with. And when you want to sign in with, for example, a sourcegraph.com account, all you have to do is click this button, which will route you to the web to authorize your account, and that will route you back to the extension and now you're signed in. The extension also has some awesome new settings for configuring the extension just as you like it. For example, you can customize the color of the ghost text for autocomplete suggestions. And the speed and quality of Kodi and JetBrains has been improved significantly. So compared to the experimental release in June, single line autocomplete latency has been improved by 46% and multi-line autocomplete latency has been improved by 22%. So it's far, far snappier as you're typing and getting those autocomplete suggestions now. Chat and commands also have improved quality and latency, and we can try a quick chat here with Cody to see how quickly it's able to find and retrieve context from our code base and return it to us. So I'm gonna highlight some code and just ask Cody to explain this code, send that, and uh, Cody will go to our code base, see what kind of relevant context it can find. You can see it read 15 files here uh, and is generating my answer. With that, the beta version of Kodi for JetBrains has received some pretty significant upgrades, so if you're a fan of the JetBrains family of IDs, I highly recommend you check this one out. Next up, we've got Kodi for VS Code. This extension has been updated to share logic with the JetBrains extension, meaning that the performance and latency improvements of the JetBrains extension are also present here in VS Code. You'll find that the VS Code extension now feels generally snappier across chat, autocomplete, and commands. And in case you missed it, we also recently introduced a new feature to this extension called Custom Commands, and that lets you save quick actions and pre-written prompts for how you like to work with Kodi to your Kodi workspace. So you can easily trigger them at any time while you're coding. For example here, I've got a custom command I've created to improve the variable names within my code, and I can apply this to any code that I've highlighted, but you can create custom commands for any kind of quick actions based on how you like to work with Kodi. Next up, we have the brand new Kodi for NeoVim plugin, now available in experimental status for everyone. Kodi for NeoVim supports both chat and autocomplete functions, and autocomplete works very similar to the other Kodi extensions, where you can start typing, Kodi will predict what it believes you're trying to implement or trying to type next, and will make that as a suggestion. Kodi chat works a little bit differently. You'll actually type Kodi chat in the command line, and that will open up your Kodi chat window on the right-hand side. And that's where you can have a back and forth dialogue with Kodi. For example, ask it what a file does, or ask it to explain some snippet of code, or even generate some code. And if you want to actually have Kodi come in and make a direct inline change to your code, you can highlight a snippet of code and use the Kodi task command followed by a prompt in the command line. And Kodi will use that to make an update directly in line in your code. This plugin is available today, so you can go ahead and download it and get started in NeoVim. On top of the feature updates that we're releasing for the Kodi IDE clients today, we're also releasing some new LLM support for Kodi for Enterprise. As of today, you can now configure Kodi for Enterprise to talk to OpenAI models on the back end, meaning that you can choose between Anthropic models like Claude 2 and OpenAI models like GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 to power your team's instance of Kodi based on your team's preferences. We're also introducing support for hosted LLM services, specifically Azure OpenAI and AWS Bedrock. If you're running a model through either of those services, you can now configure Kodi to talk directly to that service, so Kodi's requests are effectively routed to your LLM in your team's own Azure or AWS cloud account. With that, we've covered all of the Kodi highlights for this release, so let's take a look at what's new in Code Search, specifically version 5.2 shipping today. We've got a couple new features here that should make for a better experience for our Sourcegraph instance administrators. First off, we've got improved debuggability for the Git server component in Sourcegraph. Maintaining Git server could be a little bit time consuming if you had a very large Sourcegraph instance, so we've surfaced more information to the UI to make that an easier process. 
Here in the Git server tab, you can see exactly how much free disk space you have on your Git server. And we can also drill into repositories here and then go into the settings for a specific repository. We can actually see a log of all of the operations that Git server is running against each repository. This makes it much easier to see exactly what's happening and if any operations are failing right from the UI so we don't have to spend the time SSHing into Git server to debug. Lastly, we made some upgrades to the admin onboarding process and what exactly happens when you stand up a fresh new instance of source graph and code search. Now, when you do start a new instance, you'll be immediately asked to insert your license key if you have one. And after that, you'll be walked through a step-by-step -step guide of settings to make sure that your instance is fully configured. For example, setting your external URL and connecting all of your code hosts. This makes sure that you have the best possible experience with Sourcegraph right out of the box as soon as you get started. That wraps up the highlights from today's Sourcegraph release. If you're already using Kodi, you can upgrade to the latest versions of the IDE clients today. And if you're not yet using Kodi or Code Search, you can learn more and sign up to get Kodi for free at about.sourcegraph.com. And if you have any feedback for us here at Sourcegraph, we'd love to hear it in our Discord community. Thanks.